Viewer discretion is... I'm a programmer, technically still a student, and I want to make a mod. Current problems, I have no idea what I'm doing, and I've never talked to a woman. Why? Why is that second one in there? I have one week to make some custom mobs and items and make Minecraft like the anime Chainsaw Man. So if you want to see me go from knowing absolutely nothing to making some pretty cool stuff, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. Before I do the cool stuff, I'm going to need to make some 3D models. Now, I'm not good at art. I've also never opened this program before. Oh well, here I go. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Okay, I actually just don't have time to mess around though. When you think of Chainsaw Man, you think of... Sorry, I zoned out there for a second. I'm gonna make a saw. Making a saw as a weapon should be pretty easy. Quick question though, please call on me, my hand is raised. Teacher, please, 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 thank you. Now this may be a stupid question, may not even be worth mentioning. How do you turn an object into block object? I simply do not possess the brain power to understand how to do this. I just kind of started looking up saws and started modeling. I mean, beginner's luck does exist, so I could make something pretty decent. So it's actually going impressively bad, and my will to live is diminishing by the second. I'm just gonna start over. Okay, yeah, it's not so bad now. I mean, it's all right. Don't look over there. There's nothing to worry about over there. It's a bad, bad place. Really though, look at the masterful use of colors over here and over here in the same color over here. Okay, so it's not many colors. It looks like someone asked me how many shades of gray I wanted, and I just said yes. But we're still not done with the saws because the thing is. Chainsaw Man has a saw on his head, so I should probably make that. I'm really gonna have to use all my creativity here to make something that makes the player feel like other Chainsaw Man at a glance. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, subscribe, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, you're finally awake. You woke up just in time. I'm gonna be making Pachi next. Pachi may not have been in the manga for a very long time, but he was super important. And I assume he was a fan favorite. He's one of those cute, lovable characters that everyone loves. So I have to make sure that his model does him justice. All right, I spent an hour making this, but it'll take years of therapy to forget. But hey, it can only go up from here. These models are gonna get a lot better later in the video, so make sure to keep watching. But before I keep making more models, I need to put these in the game. To do that, I'll be using a resource pack, or wait a second, that data pack? Are they different? <laughs> why, why would they do that? And why am I, okay, this should let you know how clueless I am in this process. I'm literally just winging it with Google and my superior intellect. Okay, the internet has never let me down. Okay, the internet would never let me down twice in a row, so I guess I'll just start looking into stuff. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult. I just need to stick to the basics and it's literally been a day. What, I blacked out, hello? Yeah, so I'm not kidding. Turns out there's a deep internet rabbit hole of learning a new thing from scratch with minimal background in the area. Who, uh, who would have thought? Obviously not me. Trying to put these couple things in the game puts me to my limit. I don't understand why these aren't loading. Granted, my mental limit was not very high to begin with. Why is this doing texture? I don't understand. So it turns out that when you use a data pack and resource pack to change the game, you're making changes using systems that already exist in the game. Hello? Are you still there? To keep it simple, you're pretty much using long Minecraft commands to make stuff like this solve. It's not a new item, it's just a diamond sword with a new model and texture. But there is a problem, there's a limit to what you can do with this. You can't change armor models for some reason. Don't ask me, I just work here. So how did I make this helmet? I used a carved pumpkin, which you can change the model of. Literally this makes no sense and I'm mad about it. But there is one catch, the pumpkin has an overlay. You can remove it, but I just made it a cool feature. Now for the custom entity that is Pachi. I wanted him to not be based on an entity that already exists, so I tried making a custom entity. But hey, it turns out when you try to play God, there are consequences. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created here on earth? That's a uh, Spy Kids 2 quote. I have a strong urge to put this thing in a cage and see how many fifth graders it can take on. Somebody get on that mod, I'm actually busy right now and I think I need to try something else. But what can I use as an alternative without coding? 
Optify models. Using this, you can take a mob that already exists, and instead of making some cringe retexture, you can make a custom model. It's actually pretty simple too. It shouldn't take that long to figure out, hey, so why is the screen fading? Is anyone else seeing that? It's turning black like there's some large amount of time that's about to pass. Hello? So it's day three now. I had a small problem, just like a small hiccup of experiencing every error everywhere all at once. And not like the cool movie, but like a mental breakdown. At the very least, this little guy's in the game now. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, I have developed severe mental illnesses from this process. Honestly though, Pachi wasn't that bad, but he was the second model. The first model I put in the game was a completely different story. So everyone knows this iconic panel. It's one of those panels that transcend the manga it came from. So I had an idea, you know, just like a small 3am thought, the kind that keeps you up at night, looking out the window, staring into the abyss, wondering why. Why did Jessica in the third grade come to me and say, your glasses look funny, and then walk away? Hey, so what was I talking about? Oh, right, I can put this in the game with the Bokers. They shoot fangs in front of them as an attack. It's literally perfect. The only problem is it just didn't work. So what went wrong? Well, I tried circular glasses and my head is like a long rectangle. Oh yeah, so the project. Uh, modeling is hard. Let me just uh, list off some fun facts. Just some small little fun facts about modeling. Did you know that in Blockbench, you have to keep the model parts inside the original group or else the model breaks? Did you know you can only rotate the entire group, not individual parts, or else the model breaks? Did you know that if you make the model bigger than the original the model breaks. Did you know that Optifine models are a different file type than the original regular models and when you convert the model, the model breaks? Did you know that if you do a backside tail slide on the blockchain while Elon Musk jacks off my big toe with his pinky finger, the model breaks? I'm literally losing my eye. I had to uh, take a couple inches off the top. Let's just move on to the fangs. I uh, borrowed this astronaut model and now... Okay, I have to say, that's actually pretty cool. I think this is my first success in this whole project. I kind of want to add more details to the evoker texture, but it'll do for right now. My last big model is going to be this guy. But Gray, didn't you just go through the process of dealing with a complex model and now you're going to make something even more challenging? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Literally, who asked? I'm the big Chad handsome strong YouTuber and you are the puny sad viewer. Now having said that, this is going to be one of the most difficult models I've made so far. I'm genuinely going to have to put some creativity to make something that's good and I fear for my life. But I also can't spend all day on this because, oh yeah, it's day four and I've been doing only models. Yeah, I need to speed this up. The good news is that the Iron Golem model is perfect to start with. The bad news is that I've never felt the embrace of a woman. Who keeps putting these in the script? The really bad news is that the Iron Golem model is bulky. And for the model animation to work, I need to make some compromises with the part sizes. But more importantly, I'm having trouble turning this man into a man made of squares. So uh, for right now, I just made this. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Right now, it looks like my sleep paralysis demon had a third child with a skinny kid from Alabama named Malachi. But unlike Malachi, there is hope for the future of this model. I just wanted a concept for now. And now I'm taking a break from modeling to redo a different model. I'm willing to admit that the helmet model needs work. As long as you're willing to admit the accident wasn't your fault. So I added an actual Chainsaw Man helmet. Now whatever skin you wear, you'll still transform into Chainsaw Man. But wasn't the real Chainsaw Man the man in our hearts that we made along the way? Did I just have a stroke? Hello? Speaking of transforming, I also made this cord, and this will be super important for the base of turning the player into Chainsaw Man later on. I have two and a half days left, so now I think I should get to making some cool stuff. But there's a problem. Remember how I explained data packs? Yeah, that's not gonna work. I got big dreams, and using systems already in the game just isn't enough. But the big plans that I have, I need to code. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm a computer science major. I know the basics of Java and I've dealt with problem solving. It took me a full 24 hours to set up this coding workspace. One day gone because every step of this process, I had some random error that took an hour of Googling to find the solution on a Reddit post that was created before the birth of man. I swear it got to the point where if I got one more error, I was ready to put three grandmas two inches under the ground and an act so heinous could only be described in one word. I was gonna put him uh, foot, foot. But right now, I had another problem. I had one and a half days to my deadline and two months worth of Minecraft coding to learn. I was at my wit's end and I genuinely had to ask if I could finish this project or if I had to toss away all my hours of hard work. I needed something. 
then I found it. My Salvation, MC Creator. This program takes all the code and turns it baby mode so that if you know the basics of coding logic, you too can make a mod pack. So with this newfound hope, I imported all the models I made into MC Creator, except for the Salt Devil. For mobs like him and Pachi, I needed to convert their model files. That was no problem for the Hellspawn, I mean Pachi, but the Salt Devil didn't work, which is actually good because I needed to remake it anyways. So I went to work, making what I think could possibly be my best model yet. Personally, I think it looks pretty cool. And before you give your opinion, just know that I bruise easily. And also I know where you live. I spent a lot of time just texturing this big guy, arguably too much time, but I wanted this one to be my masterpiece. And also, I went back and retextured the Darkness Devil while I was in an artistic mood. Now, with one day left, I can finally get to the good stuff. First, I wanted to make it so that when you kill Pachi, it spawns the Soul Devil. In MC Creator, this was actually as easy as clicking a button and doing a fun little puzzle designed for 5th graders and men with broken dreams. It was actually pretty easy to do most things in the program, and thanks to that, the Soul Devil was... Actually, I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, this thing has more health than a warden. It's super fast. Chain knocks you back with his attacks. And I had on prop for netherite. So what's the point? I often find myself asking that at 4 a.m. But I mean, why go through the trouble of killing that? I'm not making a second warden. I actually want there to be a point. So when you do beat it, it drops this. This was probably the hardest thing to do just because I was still learning the program. It was pretty much just Googling and trial and error, but this is the outcome. Yeah, it's pretty sick, right? Unironically, pretty cool. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Fight back! Fight back! Fight! Please! Please! No! Oh, sorry, you thought that power didn't come with a cost? You fool, you buffoon. You made a critical mistake, trusting me. But hey, that's it, time's up. I went from knowing nothing about bond making to making some cool stuff. It was super stressful, but hey, that's all part of the process. If you want me to release this mod pack, then uh, leave a like. If this video does well, then I'll fix it up and release it. I'm gonna go take a nap, bye.